I really need a new lens for a close-up shot, but I don't want to spend too much money. It's just for a few shots. I got it! Buy a used lens! favorite lenses only cost me 20 bucks and it's even broken. I picked up this lens off of Adorama for only 20 bucks. This video is not sponsored by Adorama by the way. It worked perfectly for what I needed it to do which was to take this close-up shot of the Q button for the S5 for a thumbnail picture I was planning to use on YouTube. I used one of my favorite photography cameras, the old Canon 5D Mark II, also purchased used, to take the picture. But then something else happened. I began discovering more uses for it, really enjoying the lens. I definitely got my money out of it so far and still love shooting with it. Maybe I'll spend a whopping $50 off of eBay and buy one that isn't broken. But for now, this lens is perfect for what I use it for. So what's the big deal, you might ask? The big deal is that we sometimes get stuck looking at the shiny new toys, not realizing that the used, amazing, and fully capable camera gear is still available for us to buy at a much cheaper price most of the time definitely been guilty of gear acquisition syndrome in the past, thinking I need every new option for the new camera gear, spending way more than I should have. Here are a few examples of some used camera gear that I purchased with their prices listed. To help put you at ease, let's walk through a few questions that many people have asked about buying used camera gear. I'll answer from my experiences so far. Full disclosure, I'm usually buying from either Adorama, Amazon, or eBay. Okay, question number one. Have you received any camera gear broken because of shipping when buying used? No. Not beyond anything detailed in the description in any of the websites I purchased used gear from. Doesn't mean that it can't happen, but most websites are going to help you fix the issue if it arises. The shipping process is definitely figured out, even for expensive lenses. The missing iris in this lens was disclosed in the description, but said it would still work, so I wanted to give it a shot. Just be aware of different ratings on each used gear site like B&H Photo or Adorama, avoiding mold and broken features that are absolutely required. Unless you like to fix things, then have at it. Okay, next question. Do you receive all the accessories when purchasing used camera gear? Sometimes. Again, the description in the used gear listing will explain what is included and what is not. I don't see used gear coming with additional items, but usually nicer lenses are shipped in the box it was originally purchased in, so it feels like new anyways. Question number three. Is there a loss in quality when buying used lenses and camera gear? Sometimes, but most of the time, no. I've been more than satisfied with the quality of the used gear and sometimes even shocked how great the condition was. Question number four. Do you always buy used camera gear? No. I still buy new camera gear if it is something that is not currently available used, is more fragile, or has brand new capabilities I'm looking for. Used camera gear is so worth the money. Some might ask, why not rent camera gear instead? Depending on what kind of project you're doing, that can definitely be the better option than buying a new camera gear, or even used. But as for me lately, I'm expanding my capability and experience with used camera gear with less money and couldn't be happier. I hope I was able to convince you to try buying used camera gear to help you save some money or at least provide a friendly reminder to just double check the prices on some used gear before buying new every single time. Please let me know any questions or comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for joining.